Yo! What is up? It's your Emperor here, Grappler Senpai. And I'm here playing Fate again. And I just watched Fate Apocrypha. So I don't want to give up my opinion on it. What about you, Lord Kozgo? How are you doing? I'm doing well. Well then. Fellow Traveler, let's get into the madness. So, I'm going to have to give you our warning. There's going, to, uh, there's going to be spoilers in here for the Fate Apocrypha anime. Although, considering I'm looking at anime lists um, a couple hours ago, people tend to hate on this anime. Even though it's actually still fairly good. But, eh, let's get to it. Ah, <sighs> So what should I talk about first? What should I tell them first? Honestly, about the Fate Apocrypha anime. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Uh, the ending. Should I tell them about the ending? Go on ahead. So, Sig. Um. Okay. So Sig sacrifices because um. You know the. The other ruler, um, what's his name? Um, the black, uh, the creature with the black um, outfit. Amakusa Shiro. Yeah, um, Amakusa Shiro. Okay, he he actually succeeds in getting his wish, but um, Sieg actually sacrifices himself. You know, he beat um, that other guy. Um, he it, it, he sacrifices himself and turns himself into a dragon and takes um, the Grail to the inverse world and. Um, there he finds Jean d'Arc, and that's where I cried because I thought Jean d'Arc was dead. Honestly. <laughs> and, um, I was like, oh my god, Jean and Sieg actually end up together. I was, I'm, I was actually surprised there. And then we see a. <laughs> and then we see a Stolfo, the lovable idiot, the only, um, dr the only servant that survived. Oh my god, do I have to bring up Mordred? Mordred dying was, like, so infuriating to me, man. Like, seeing Mordred go oof beside her master was also kind of a tearjerker. Much sadness. So much sadness. Indeed, so much sadness. As for, um, well... You know, Astolfo, he goes around traveling. Um, well, well, he seems to be holding a map of Europe. And, you know, travels. He pretty much just travels around. They, they just seem to make it up to. They just seem to um, hint that he just starts traveling around. And learning about the world, I guess. But seeing that he's an idiot, I doubt he can learn much. He is Astolfo, the traveling fool. <laughs> Imagine how much how much um money he'd get by um traveling around and just acting a fool and saying, "I am one of the twelve paladins of tournament." That would be he would make so much money as a fool, man. Hey, hey. What? Exchange is painting. Exchanges paintings for the Euro. With Nero. With Nero? Exchanges Euros with Nero? Why? Oh, wait. Exchanges paintings for no, Nero. No, exchanges painting with Nero. Oh, sorry. Man, I'm kind of tired right now and I need to sleep. But, you know, by the way, yeah. Um... That would seem interesting, seeing that you sent me the Nero the Artist video by Dai Tomodachi. <laughs> the dick makes the butter. Oh my god, please don't bring that up, man. That's gay as shit. Do I even have to bring up 
that, you know, a stoffel made John almost cry. And that kind of makes me not want to forgive him, despite what he did for Seek and pretty much the world. <laughs> Dude, if you look at it, a stoffel pretty much saved humanity. Why? Because of Asani Shakti? What? Karn is Noble Phantasm. No, he saved the world because, you know, he pretty much saved Sieg, and Sieg turned into a dragon and took the Holy Grail that was pretty much going to strip away humanity's free will. And, um, there, I mean, indirectly, if you look at it, Astolfo and John yeah. and, and Sieg pretty much saved the world. Okay, man, I cannot hear you, but I will go on and tell you that Sorry. Fate Apocrypha, Fate Apocrypha tends to get so much hate, even though it's an anime made for men of culture. I mean, just look at the man. But Astolfo saved Sieg. With Achilles' noble fandom. Hmm. Is your internet doing okay? I think it is. Alright, now I can hear you. Okay, by the way, um... Fate Apocrypha. It is an anime made for men of culture. Wouldn't you agree? Because I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure this anime, you know, was directed at an audience that are pretty much meme lords. Even by then, by 2017, they were mostly meme lords. And as we know, meme lords are men of culture. I mean, I guess that's one way to call them. <laughs> Nah, but in all, in all seriousness, um, I think the cast was pretty good. I'm not going to lie. I don't get why the anime gets so much hate. Well, I'm going to go farm snake jewels real quick. Oh, great. I'll see you back then. Oh, no. Uh, I'm still here. Oh. I'm just telling you where I'm going with my children. By the way, imagine a imagine a stole for any of the of the servants trying to explain to people that they're from that place without having any documentation. Well, I bet you the Egdemenilia or whatever family fucking gave them documentation or whatnot. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Here are your papers if you lose your fuck. <laughs> yeah, if you lose but imagine the idiot that is a stolfo losing those papers. I'm one of the twelve paladins of Charlemagne. You're one of the twelve paladins. No. I'm one of the twelve paladins of Charlemagne. Oh no, no. You're one of the twelve prisoners in our jail cell. Now that would be funny. <laughs> and then and then they mistakenly put him in the in the female cells and then find out oh no. He's a tulapu. Oh no, it has a dick. <laughs> I know, right? Like what the fuck? Uh, Captain, it has a dick. What do we do? Ignore it. <laughs> well, considering it's Europe, maybe they would. 
since they're so progressive over there, they probably think he's just gay. And they'll put him in the female cells. <laughs> SJWs, you just can't get enough of them. Was straight. What? It turns out he was straight. Wait, he's straight? Oh my god, Boudica. Just stop. Stop, Boudica. Yeah. You really are an adorable girl. Oh, wow. Boudica. Boudica, what's wrong there? Yeah, yes, well, I I am Senpai's... Um, yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> there, there, I'm so happy to see you grow into such a fine lady. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Boudica, are you okay? Quick, now's your chance. Stab them in the eyes and run. <laughs> Why? Why would I want to stab Mash in the eyes? Oh, I wasn't talking about Mash, but that works too. Why? Mash is so fucking adorable. <laughs> like I wouldn't I would dude I wouldn't fight her like what what would be the reason man she's just too good to be true like she's too good for this world exactly the problem <laughs> you're fucking evil I thought we've already established this but all right So, what do you think about Nintendo's policies recently with them not refunding pre-orders? It's BS. Mm, yes, you say. Just like what happened to Atalante and Fate Apocrypha. Sure. Okay. Do you agree with ha with what happened to Atalante? I mean, no, but I mean, she kind of she kind of knew what was coming. What, being killed by, um, fucking Achilles? She knew what was gonna happen. Achilles is such a badass. I'm not gonna lie. You're a pretty cool dude. We'll be getting the ability to summon Achilles later this week. Oh, fuck yeah. I cannot wait. He'll be a five-star writer, though, so good luck. By the way, guys, um, my, I might be getting my PC back tomorrow because my uncle is deciding to get me a new motherboard or actually fix my motherboard if possible. Yay! The only family member I have is giving me well, that, what I need. That's good. That's good. What happened to your grandmother, man? Oh, she's still there. She's not in this country, though. Uh, 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 okay, then. By the way, YouTube audience, you should know by now that I have no parents. Yay! Why is that a good thing? I know it's not a good thing. I was being sarcastic there. Sarcasm doesn't befit you. Why not? It just doesn't. Why? Because I'm honest? Mm, yeah. Sure. Yeah, okay. 
I'll do the sarcasm thing better next time. Also, check out my assassin. Alright, let me get through his cutscene first. Let's go to Travel by the Sea Grappler. Let me show you my brilliant sounding skills. <laughs> should, I, should I tell Nero I can't wait or I'm a bit worried? <laughs> Either or works. Huh? But what would you, what what do you think I should say? Either or works. I must say I'm a bit worried. <laughs> no need to be embarrassed. Hey, <laughs> you're bad at hiding your feelings, huh? What the fuck is raw and narrow? She's so carefree. Many things indeed. She is a demon sent from hell. A wholesome demon, but still a demon. She's fucking insane. That's a devil. Man, wouldn't it suck to go bald at 19? I, I actually saw a, a, a fucking um, person in a, in a in one of the Reddit forums that says he's going bald at 19. Like, he has a, he barely even has hair left on his head. Like, he is thinning like shit. See, I told people not to do inbreeding, but did they listen? No! <laughs> Good thing I'm not inbred. Or at least I think I am. Everyone and their mother decided to go to Sweet Home Alabama. Hey, my mom was, was white, my dad was Mexican. It's impossible for me to be an inbred. You'd think so. Oh, I know so. Spanish Empire and Germany are too far apart. Somewhere on the line they would have met somewhere. Huh. Yes, indeed. Oh, indeed, this this woman right here, this lolly, this purple-haired lolly right here, she seems to be a woman of culture. You are aware that she's an Oni, right? And several hundred years old? I know she... I don't mean it in that way. I'm saying, like, the way she dresses... And the way she acts is the way of a woman of culture. She's also got an alcohol addiction. That is not very cultural unless it is wine or sake. Sake and wine are for women and it men of culture. It is specifically sake. Okay, then this is a woman of culture. What do you think an Odie's gonna drink? I mean, I am 21 now. I can drink, right? I mean, you can drink, but, well, we've seen what that does to you. To hell with you. I feel anyway, like... I plan to farm out, like, two or three sequels so I can ascend those one more time. Hmm, indeed. I wonder how I can reverse balding. And then she gets a freaking sword.
I feel like I'm going bald. I really do. Nah, not yet. My hair and my frontal... My, my, the hair and, like, the front part of my head is, like, it's thinning out for some reason. I'm bringing back Avenue John. I don't I get to do this very often. I am going to kill all these skeletons. Quetzalcoatl. You got Quetzalcoatl? Quetzalcoatl? You got Quetzalcoatl? You got Quetzalcoatl? No. Oh, you're fighting against Quetzalcoatl. So you had best bet. Mátalo, Cotacotil. Mátalo por el bien de México. Listen, here come Christmas event. I'm picking up the ruler version. No, Cotacotil is mine. Fuck you, she's mine. No, she's... Mine. Only I get the Mexican milks. Proceeds to pick up Quetzalcoatl and run. No. I get Mexican milk because I'm Mexican. Taking the ruler. Alright. Oh, it's been 22 minutes already. I think that's enough for today, guys. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace out, losers. The Emperor has spoken.